Yeah, yes. So um I guess next we'll talk about talking um talking about um why you shouldn't be eating so much at uh one time. Um and just uh, a couple of our tips on uh how not to. So um do you wanna start <laughs> off out out to chime in? Yeah, um so I actually just did a newsletter on this and I thought I would, I, you know, I know a lot of people here are not getting it. If they want it, type newsletter below and I'll get that to you. Um, t- uh, some of the top tips that I have for people, you know, during the holidays, there's a lot of people going out, you're eating out a lot. Um, and even when it's not the holidays, when you go to a restaurant, everything nowadays, everything's supersized. I mean, your plate comes, you go to like, what is that? Uh, I don't really go out to eat that much. Um, what's that one that's popular? Not TJ. Applebee's. Applebee's. Okay. I've been there before, and the, they bring you, like, you order an appetizer, and it's for, like, eight people. It's, like, crazy. So um, what you want to do, so when you order your food, say you order a sandwich or fries or whatever, um, and it comes to the table, before it even comes to the table when you order your food, ask for a doggy bag. They're going to look at you like you're crazy, but just tell them, look, I need a doggy bag. And as soon as your food comes, split it in two, slide that other half into the doggy bag. You'll still end up eating it, but it doesn't matter because you're going to eat it at a different time and you won't have that weight gain that you typically have after eating food um, when you're going out. A lot of it has to do with the ingredients that they put into it. You don't gain four pounds overnight but a lot of it has to do with the sodium and all the chemicals that they put in it that's holding all the stuff into your body. So, and that takes generally when you eat out 12 to 72 hours to get rid of that out of your system. So anyways, if you, if you don't want to bloat, you know, cut it in half or split the meal with a friend. So, or your husband or whatever, when Don and I go out, um, when we do go out, (laughs) um, that we, we literally, you know, we'll buy one meal and cut everything in half. He eats half, I eat half. And then neither one of us walk away feeling like our gut's going to explode and we don't gain the weight. Um, so that's one of them. Um, you want to you wanna do one now? Yeah, yeah. Which um, one you so uh, another one is when you're at home, uh, use smaller plates. So you don't want to use a, a big, big plate. You want to use a, a smaller plate for your portion sizes. Um, what I usually tell people for their portion size is your protein should be the size of the palm of your hand, your carbs should be the size of your palm of your hand, and your fiber, your vegetables <laughs> should be the size of your whole hand. So those are some of the tips you want to use. Um, yeah, I know, I know it's, it's that season. Some people like to go overboard, you know. Um, but I would suggest that to use smaller plates and don't go for seconds, you know. Um, you eat one time, basically you're full, but you know what I mean. You you just want some more. You you know what I mean. You just want that taste. So uh, try not to go four seconds. Uh, yeah, and make sure you stick to those portion size. Those are very very important. Um, you stick to that portion size, I I think you'll be okay. Yeah yeah. Yeah, I I like to use the uh, um, not the big plates, the dessert plates. They're about like this big versus this big. Um, really cuts down on your portion size. Of course, you can still mount things on them, so you don't want to do that. Yes. But um, yeah, that that that's very helpful. In smaller bowls, everything. Um, yeah, another thing is don't eat out of a bag or a box. You know, you'll sit down and you got the football games going on, guys. I know, and you're sitting there and somebody brings out a bag of chips and you know you can't eat just one and next thing you know Please. that bag of chips is gone and you ate i don't know how many servings is in a bag of chips but probably like 14 15 servings and now you've eaten all that sodium all that fat all those calories and now you're feeling like crap and you know you just blew it so you know, take take a serving out. You know, look look at your serving sizes. Yes. Um, a lot of prepackaged stuff. You think, oh, that doesn't look like much food, but it's like four servings. And if the sodium levels in it, like you know, a thousand or twelve hundred for sodium, and you eat four servings of that, you know, that's that's a deal breaker right there. Yes, yes. So don't eat out of the bag, guys. Yeah, and and 
in on those uh, processed carbohydrates, the calorie count is very high just for a small portion of it. Like she said, for like a small serving size, the calorie count is pretty high. If you're counting calories or counting your macros and stuff like that, right. you want to be conscious of, uh, of that kind of stuff. So, Right. So. Yeah, and guys, keep those platters of food off the table. I've seen I people at the gym, I'll actually ask them, can you show me your dinner table? And they take pictures of their dinner table. Platters and platters of food. I mean, get your get your servings, get that stuff off the table. That way you're not going for the seconds. You know, if it's not in front of you and you're sitting there chit-chatting with the family and, you know, the mashed potatoes are still on the table with the gravy, you know, sooner or later you're going to reach for it. Exactly. So just take it off the table, you know, put it away, get rid of it. So that, that's another good pointer. And, um, you know, keep when you do put your... Uh, stuff away, put it in portion control containers. So that way, you know, you're not going in and going, oh, I've got a, you know, a big bowl of stuffing here and, you know, just shoveling it in, you know, put it, portion it out. So then that way you say, okay, you know, I want some of that holiday meal left over, you know, and you have, you know, I've, I've seen people actually eat like five meals in one sitting. And if they would have portion control it out and drank their water while they were eating, they would have been full and they wouldn't have had to, you know, overeat and stuff themselves. So and, uh, it was great. And Greg, great you're perfectly right. Um, eating prepackaged food is, is bad Pretty and much. healthy and you want to eat natural, but you know, everyone doesn't, you know, everyone can't afford to uh, eat organic or, or, or natural all the time. So if, if you can't yeah. and um, you're just starting out, so just, just, just follow these guidelines. They'll help you out. Uh, I know it's um, not eating natural and not eating organic and stuff is, is not the best, but you just want to do the best for what you have. Yeah, you truly do the best for what yeah, you have. Yeah, and it's, it doesn't matter. I mean, sometimes you go in, <laughs> I mean, I keep telling people, read your labels. There's all these new, you know, healthy marketplaces opening up, and you go in and, you know, I'll pick up the label, and it's not healthy. It's not at all. I mean, they... They're still putting things like MSG in it. They're still putting maltodextrin in it, the, you know, sucrose, you know, all the stuff that, you know, people look at it and they go, I don't know what that is. And they're going to eat it anyways. I don't understand that. Why would you eat something that you don't know what it is? But uh, we get, stuffing is good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't eat stuffing. <laughs> and, and Andy, not to the high protein, low carb, high protein, you have to, you have to know what you're doing with your protein because actually protein can work uh, against you if you eat too much of it. Um, you really want to stick to, you know, like, you know, Will was saying with your protein, uh, girls generally um, four ounces of protein for their meal and then guys get six to eight. Yeah. But if you want to do it right, you need to do the calculations for your body and um, uh get the right amount for it. If you need help, I'll, let, I'll help you out later on. Uh, just shoot me a message. But uh, there's people that actually have died from eating too much protein, and that's all they were eating was protein. And you can also get a lot of other symptoms from eating way too much protein, including ruining your kidneys, because protein is very high on the kidneys when you have too much of it. Here, I was just explaining it, and you typed why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. So, and yeah. what works for you might not work for somebody else. So, right, right. Uh, yeah, they, it could be. Yeah, yeah, Andy, it can be bad for the kidneys. Uh, I've known people that have actually had really bad kidney problems from eating way too much protein and nothing else but protein because they thought if I eat protein, you know, I'm going to get big and bulky at the gym. And it doesn't work that way. Your body needs carbs, it needs everything else. It's a um, you, you can't function without those things. So a lot of body I, have one more, a I have one more rule too, if you guys want to hear it. It's a, you know, that, that whole rule of never, ever, ever, ever eat something that a 16 year old has handed you out of a drive through window. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> those people don't care about you. They don't care about your health. They're just making, you know, dollar menu crap for you to get sick off of. So, yes, yeah. Stay out of those fast food restaurant lines. Yeah. 
<laughs> so I've got great even, names even for Chick -fil -A. those even Chick -fil -A. like McDeath <laughs> and, and Taco Hell. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyways, guys, that, that's, I don't know, you have any other ones that you can think of offhand? Uh, um, no, I don't have a anything else uh, that they can do. Nope. Yeah, the, the only thing else I could think of right now is um, when you guys, when you go to your holiday meals and everything, and um, if you're if you're trying to, you know, get healthy and lose the weight, um, and you know you're going somewhere where they're going to have ham and mashed potatoes and gravy, sweet potatoes that have, like, full of marshmallows and high fructose corn syrup and all the crap that you don't want, um, yeah, Jonathan, yeah, all they do is want your money. Um, but what you can do is do what I do, which <laughs> everyone hates me for. But I end up, I take something that I can eat along. So I'll make like a, a clean tabbouleh with uh, quinoa or, you know, something that I like. And then that way, I'm like, here's my dish. And there will be a couple people that will be like, oh, I love that stuff. And then we'll have it. And then I've got something to eat. I don't have to eat the sweet potatoes that somebody put corn syrup into, which is so nasty. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I got. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's all I have too. So guys, just make sure if you want to um, join that 18 day challenge, you type in, put in info in the comments. We start tomorrow. Um, we'll get back to you with all the information we'll be doing. Uh, two Zoom calls uh, a week just to keep you on track. Um, uh, and also, um, if you want a Wendy newsletter, put a newsletter in the comment and she'll uh, get you signed up for her newsletter. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Make sure you like yeah. and share, please. And congratulations, Greg. You see what he said? He's down from 240 to 196. That's awesome. Good job, Greg. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. And plus, you say um, you uh, you eat um, out of a truck. So if you can do it, anybody can do it. So good job, brother. Um, <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, make sure you uh, if you want to join the challenge, type in info. If you want to um, get on Wendy's newsletter, put a newsletter in the comments, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and share, and we'll be doing a couple more videos. Um, in the next couple of weeks. We'll be doing another one this week for sure. So look yeah. out for that. Good job, Andy. He's, he's down too. Good, yeah, good yeah. job, Andy. It's the clean eating, guys. You got to eat clean. So, yes, you do. Yes, you do. All right. I'm going to fly out of here and enjoy the rest of my day. So it's too nice to be inside. All right. You have a good one, Wendy. Okay. You too. Thanks, right. Will. No problem. Bye.